All right, I'm gonna change well, this. Uh, so we're still oh. gonna move. Oh yeah, sure. Forgot. Oh, you're wait. You're standing up. You can't move. You're just standing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now we're in the Arkham Encounter phases. Um, I'm the first player, so I will. Um, so give me that clue token because that'll actually give me five. Let me throw an order scroll on the thing. And so let's close that gate. So can I? Oh, wait, I need to make a combat check mm -hmm. at minus two. Four, five, six, seven. Oh eight, no! Nine. You can only roll nine dice now. Well, <laughs> it's six plus my fight is four, so ten. Um, it's minus two, so it's eight. Mm. I'm sorry, eight. <laughs> I should have opened my fight. Uh, you're good. <laughs> you're fine. Yes. <laughs> I think I get fifty percent of the dice were successful. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. So the creature's dead. Well, not the creature. The gate's closed, which the creature is removed from the board. He sucks back into that bag. Yep. I'll take that. And let's throw an elder sign down, which it does not remove a doom croaking, but at least in like there's two spaces where we don't have to worry about gates spawning in on us. Right. So. Okay. Um. And so that's me encountering that space, and so uh, now you're going to encounter that, so you're not going yep. to draw anything. You're going to spend a gate, Yep. and then you're going to take one of these. But the blessed side. Yep. Nice. So these just go. Yeah. Wish I could use those before. <laughs> yeah. You could choose any player to be blessed, by the way, but I think you probably want to put it on yourself, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm already struggling as it is. Okay. Um, and you draw until you either get a red, blue, yellow, or green. Which... Oh, that should be all. All right, so I got yellow. So, and that's uh, which one again? Any dimension. Another dimension. Other? Yeah. Okay, a monster appears. Oh, no. That's it. <laughs> How does a monster appear in another dimension? Like, Wait, what? Do you have to fight it? Do you have to fight it? <laughs> yeah. No description, I'm just a no, monster. No, it just says monster appears. Ah, anyways. <laughs> I got the monster drawn. <laughs> Is it the ghost again? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Evade or fight? Oh. Well, you can't shoot a ghost, so. No. Yeah, in Arkham, so... Oof. Yeah, so you don't get the bonus from the rain. Mmm. And I had my speed up all the way, which means sneak is down. This is page 22. Oh. Okay. So that's it. You just have to either... You just have to... Evade or fight. Mm -hmm. So, mm. all toughness is one. If you choose to fight, then you have to do like the a horror check. Oh, the horror check. Yeah. Oh, but, but he, he can't anyways because it's physical immunity. Do you have any uh, your spells? Don't do anything. Do no, they just lower the toughness Ooh. by one. Which that doesn't work. You can make him zero toughness and make him weak. <laughs> yeah, make them weak and can't do anything. <laughs> I don't so. think that's how it works. <laughs> so I got a, a thing. Well, see, that's the problem now. It's going to be a, it's minus three. Yeah, yeah my so sneak you're is just, two. And your sneak is two. So he's at negative one right now. Negative one? Yeah. yeah. And you, have, you have one clue. Well... You're going to have to risk the clue or be uh, essentially knocked out, which will send you to lost time, time and space. Wait, like, does the clue gives him one dice? Yeah. He's at negative one, right? Well, no, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. okay. Spin All right, spin okay. the clue. All right. You should have blessed, girl. All right. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Where's that? Where's the... <laughs> the lucky one. Good luck. Yeah. I need a five or six. <laughs> Two. <laughs> All right, I'm lost in time and space. It's been an hour knowing you. Does that mean I'm dead forever? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, good. It does. It means you're not gonna go seal the gate, but you're over here. Yeah. And how do I get out? I'm looking up those rules right now. 
Can you put that in a clue bin? Oh. So you couldn't have gotten a short end of the stick in this. Uh, now does the monster, monster go back in? The monster goes back into the bag, yep. Lost in time and space. Any investigator who's lost in time and space is immediately moved to the lost in time and space area of the board. The investigator is now delayed. The player should be placed the investigator on side. The investigator loses his next turn remaining in the lost in time and space area. The player stands up the investigator marker back up during the movement phase. Mm -hmm. On the following turn, the target upkeep phase, the player moves his investigator to any location or street area of our mother's choice. Ah, yeah, okay. okay. So oh. you're right there, so you just lose a turn. Yeah, you just lose a couple turns. Okay. Do not pass gold, you know. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, are we supposed to be doing something with that? Oh, uh, yeah, well, we're just, we just now entered the turn for that. Oh, so. okay. Um, well, oh, you're right, we were supposed to do our last turn. This is for the, uh... The 4th of July parade. We're good. Okay, sweet. Okay. Um, so now, now the 4th of July, that's... Everybody's gone through their face, so... Mm -hmm. That gets discarded, so this is no longer closed. Okay. Um, new Mythos phase, and... Am I there? Okay, so this goes to you. Okay. Headline, which burning anniversary? Ooh, I like burning witches. <laughs> An ancient curse strikes Arkham and release two monsters into the river town street. Uh oh. So you want to draw two monsters? The clue appears at the science building. Oh, river town. Right. Monster in the middle. Yeah, then the awesome. cultist moves on the white track. Whoops. Where's the first one go? Just right here. River town, yeah. Alright, and second one. Zombie. That's a zombie. But these are endless, so. Ooh. No, these are not. Okay. The Black Man. The Black Man. Okay. Endless. Okay, so this is endless, so that means if you kill him, he just goes back to the bat. Mm. Before making a horror check, pass a luck minus one check to, to... Or be devoured? Oh, wait, what? If you pass, gain two clue tokens. In either case, return the Black Man to the cup. Well, this is the way to die. All right. And he's, he's there, so he moves on the light track. So he's gonna go here. Did you remove the cultist? Yes. Dang it. <laughs> They're just... Oh, he's blocking you in, huh? Yep. <laughs> I mean... And then the unvisited aisle would get a gate, that. but because of the Elder Sign, it does not. Perfect. Now we're gonna roll the two dice to see if this thing gets any more clue tokens added to it. Okay. We're good. Nice. Two fours. Okay, start upkeep phase, guys. Oof. Like, my luck? I guess I'm going to up my luck because, like, I'm going to down my speed a little bit since that kind of killed me last time. Um, it's only minus one speed right now. Yes, if you're an artist. Yes. <sighs> minus one speed plus one stealth. Yeah. What is it? Is there a rule for lingering? No. <laughs> okay. You're thinking of, um, Touch of Evil. Okay. Absolutely great. <laughs> um, boy, I, I, there's like, <laughs> where is the curious, uh, curiosity shop? Is it it's right here. here. Yeah. here. Yeah. I have like 10, 13 bucks. I'm thinking about going over there because they have unique items. I just want to go to the general store, but everything's blocked. Yeah, just the cultist doing that thing is just nasty. Mm -hmm. Well, you you can. You, well, no, I'm not got the cultist bar. there. I've got like all these guys in the way. We have one, two, three, four, five. So two more, or one more monster, and then we'll be at capacity too. Yep. East Street, okay. Which, yep. Which is East Town. Yeah. South side, yeah. Okay. What do I? I'm I'm just gonna stay there. I mean I could totally like evade the black man. Oh, do I stand up on mine now? Mm -hmm. Well you do you do in the movement phase. Okay, okay, so okay. We'll go ahead and stand you up, but yeah, unfortunately that's all you can do this turn. Yeah. Are are you wanna do anything? I'm probably just gonna stay there, honestly. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it with the uh, cultist. Yeah. His minus three is ridiculous. Yeah, and if he didn't kind of bring Yig back every time we killed one, like. Yeah. 
All right, I think I'm going to go to the curiosity shop. Okay. Um, you have enough movement. One, two, three. You need uh, four, I think, total. Yeah, I have um, five. No, I don't. Two, hmm. three. Yeah, I have four movement. Okay. I'm oh, okay, yeah, you're good. I thought you were in, were you, you were counting the rain there. Uh, no, 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 yeah. Okay. With the rain, yeah. So I'm going to go there and... Uh, so if you're not going to encounter that, you have to draw a brown card. Yup. Um, let's see. Yeah, that looks and I'm going to... Uh, Is that brown or... No, that's a kind of a more golden. No, no, it's this one. I got Southside Church on here. Yep, okay. or South Church. You're, uh, the one you're, you're actually thinking about this area that I'm in. Oh, yeah, you're the... It's fine. <laughs> it, it, it's fine. It, it's a little hard to tell sometimes. So I'm going to actually not... I'm going to draw... Um, so I can draw three unique items. I can purchase one of them. I wish I could just purchase as much as you can afford, but I'll draw three unique items. Mm. You okay? Yeah. I got a, I got a bad one. <laughs> and then the other bad thing happened. It's just bad to me for me. Oh, it's okay. not bad for everybody. Uh, it's. Father Michael convinces you that there are members of his congregation in greater need than you. Donate either half your money rounded up or half your items uh, rounded up to the poor. I, would do I do have a cross. <laughs> um, dang. So I can either get rid of my cross or get rid of, what, like $4? Yeah, $4. Mm. Well... Well, I'm going to spend four bucks on a magical up some holy water. So, I'm just since there's like undead on the on the board, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of four dollars. So just keep one of your dollars. Well, I just need to take one out. Oh, yeah. put my five in. So I have three dollars now. Three whole dollars. I hate this church. <laughs> it's a terrible <laughs> church. <laughs> They're helping the poor. You got a blessing. He's like, oh, uh, about that blessing I gave you. <laughs> right. Okay, Mephos phase, guys. Wait. Headline, gangs clean up East Town. All monsters in the East Town street. No. Oh, that's the witch's house again. Yeah, I wish it was this one right there. A clue appears at the Black Cave, and a gate goes to the witch's house, which means a monster surge happens, which means one monster spawns at each gate location. Well, we, we're at six, though, right? Uh, if, we, if one more spawns. So what happens to the overflow? So the other two go to the outskirts. Oh, okay. So one will go uh, to the witch's house specifically first. Okay, and that is a vampire. Bunch of undead. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then circles, squares, and diamonds move. I don't think we have any of those. Okay, the other two just go to the outskirts. All right, so that is a ghoul and a fire vampire. Oh, jeez. Actually, I think this one goes away because it's still raining. It's but it's a, in, if, oh, it's a flyer. If any, yeah, but it says if any fire vampires enter play, return them to the cup and draw a different monster. <laughs> Okay. Which it doesn't really matter, but um, essentially yeah. it's raining so hard. Yeah, that they can't keep fire. Okay, we get a dimensional shambler. Okay. Mm. So I should stop drawing monsters. <laughs> <laughs> um, since we're doing a three-player game, anytime there's five monsters that get in here, it like once there's five, they get emptied back into the cup, and then this goes up by one. Ah, okay. So. So sense. we need to clean some monsters out of here, but... I need the, the cultists to get out of my way. The card... Oh, did we draw a card yet? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, uh, so did, it, did it not make them move? No. That was annoying. Okay, we're going to roll the two dice. Yeah, I know. Four. Six and a four. We're done. Okay, we're good. Man. Um, okay, so I think you're the first player. Uh, upkeep phase. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this at least. He's gonna move on top of me next turn though, because of course he's gonna move. Um, oh, your speed's already minus one. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move right twice. 
trying to think, like, do I want to try and buy some more items? Because I still have, like, nine bucks on me. Or do I want to... Like, there's no good clues close to me. Right. Wait, this is a clue we went to the Black Cave. Did we put a clue in the Black Cave? No. I don't think so, no. Where's the Black Cave at? Right there. There's three Oops. over there. Oh, 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 it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of a tempting place to get some clues, and we need to, like, start reducing these. Yeah, when well, you start reducing the enemies as well, but it's like, I'm kind of stuck down here. I could take care of the undead. Okay, well, I'm going to move my luck up to my max. That'll give me free dice uh, to roll against this guy, which is a luck minus one. I would say, could you kill the cultist, but that moves the... Uh, yeah, that gets Yiggy. Like, Yig is already ridiculously close. Yeah. Thinking, actually, I probably should just... Actually, you know what? Since he, he's going to make me minus three anyways, I might as well just do that. And then when I go to, like, sneak past him, I can just use one of my clues, which is unfortunate, because I think I have five, but... Mm -hmm. going to have to if I don't want to kill him. Right, okay. Uh, so let's go one, two, three, four. Oh, man, how's the... One, two, three, four. Okay, so my movement is... <laughs> Rats, I do not have enough movement to get to those monsters this turn. I mean, I've already moved my lore and my luck up, so I can't really give myself any more speed. Um, one, two, three, because I... I Asylum, there's the bank, and I don't need any of those locations. Yeah, everything is just out of reach. I might stay here one more time and buy something to see if the monsters move next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so you're going to move first. All right. Oh, you get to choose where you want to move to, oh. by the way, since you're coming out from time and space. But you, Steven moves first. Oh, so. well, I'm going to move. I'm going to try to sneak past the cultists. Um... So I'm gonna go there. I'm at zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my clue tokens to roll two dice because I have my sneak thing. And I got a five. Got so it. now, do I have to roll again for leaving the space? No. Nope. Okay. You past them. So one, two, three, and I think I'm gonna go right here just so I can get that clue token back. Oh, this is gone by the way. Oh. I mean, you could have just cut the. I could have. It's fine. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, oh wait, sorry. Uh, that stays there until the next turn. Until the encounter, yeah. yeah until where do you want to move to? You can move anywhere you want. You know, I'm gonna be. Where were you gonna go to, Chris? Um, I'm actually gonna stay where I'm at to try to get another item. The black cave is where, like, that's yeah. looking pretty good for. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I was thinking. Okay. So now we encounter the spaces. Uh, okay. So let's start with Steven again since he's the okay. first player. Take yeah. that. And yeah. then I can't do that part anyway. Yeah. So, yep, so I'll go ahead and take, take the yellow. I get purple. And you get a. I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to buy. Okay. So. Oh. Black. It's going to be good or bad. Ooh. So, Enchanted knife. mine is, since I'm in the science building, right? Yep. Uh, a chemical brew bubbles on a nearby Bunsen burner. It smells delicious. If you drink it, <laughs> make a luck uh, plus zero check. If you pass, the strange liquid fortifies you. Roll a die and gain that many points split between your stamina and sanity. However, however, however you like. If you fail, the liquid turns out to be coffee. Gain one stamina. Uh, so I need to make a lock check, which is two. Uh, I need that. I need the dice. Okay. okay. You know what? I guess I'm going to buy the enchanted knife. Got it. So, roll a die. Points split between stamina and... Oops, sorry. All right, so I get to roll a dice, and I get to split it between my stamina and my uh, sanity. sanity. Yep. Six. <laughs> so I get three and three. Okay. I bought an enchanted dagger just to have another item that I can 
use um, a magical, no. like a... So if things have physical resistance, I can still kill them. Right. All right. Um, All right. For my encounter card, I have, You're in a maze of twisting passages. Oh, no. no. All like, pass a lore, negative two check, or become lost. If you fail, lose one stamina, and uh, stay here your next turn. Oh. I kind of so, like that. I gave you those clue tokens back. Yeah. So I guess my lore was that I get a one die. And let's see how I do. Six. Ooh, nice. So I get to leave. Yay. Any other rewards? Uh, if you pass. Nope, no rewards. Okay, you pass. You just get to <laughs> leave. <Yep. laughs> Your reward is not being stuck in there. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Okay, well, I think that's the end of everybody's turns. Mm -hmm. Think so. Another dreaded mythos face. Yeah. So Independent oh, yeah. Square, which we have an elder sign there. Mm -hmm. um, all Dark Young and Arkham are returned. Is there any Dark Youngs? Uh, no. We go like creature no. spotted in the woods. Okay. Um, a return to the cup. If at least one monster returns to the cup, raise the terror level by one. Ooh. And then a clue appears at the unnameable. Um, so I don't know where that's at, but I'll give it to you. Where is it? What's it called? The unnameable. Unnameable, which is that one. Oh. Yep. Oh. Okay. Uh, so the uh, hexagons move. Um, oh, the triangles move. Oh, and we, then the we have to roll dashes dice. move as well. Yeah, so that guy. Which I don't think we have any dashes out there, do we? I don't think so, no. Okay. Uh, what is that one? I see moon, moon. Oh, is that it? It's dash, yeah, dash. He yeah. just moves, so he's going to move to join those guys. Uh -huh. Jeez, building an army. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, um... So, so thankfully we don't lose actually lose the unnameables. Okay, so this is uh, for this guy. If he rolls a one, two, or three, we each take a stamina hit. Except for me, because I can ignore the first one I get. Okay. Three, we're good. Okay, okay now we're going to see one, twos for the... Uh, so we, we put one clue token on there, so that's now seven. Jeez. And so how many does that have to get up to? Ten. And what happens if it does? Um, I can't remember. We all die. <laughs> Return is, all elder tokens are removed from the board, so that's really very bad. bad. So we have yeah. we have two turns at least. Yeah. Uh, so like, because we'd have to fail <laughs> dice checks twice. So right. So I have five movement, which is reduced by one because of the rain. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to use all five. Of mine. So I can get here essentially. But I'm just like wondering, I could also go here. The problem is, well, no, I, I was going to say I might be under threat of attack, but if, if they move, they're not going to go towards me. Right. Did I we resolve the, yeah, the goat? Uh, a mm -hmm. goat-like creature. So, Drew, we're in the upkeep phase. I've adjusted my stuff. Have you guys adjusted your things for upkeep? Yep. yep. Okay. Um, so now we're in the movement phase. And, Drew, you move first. Where are you going to move to? All right, I can move the range stone effect, right? Yep. So I can move two. So one, two. I'm okay. trying to. So but, how many clues do you want to discard to drop this? I'll do three. Okay. Puts us out of the danger zone on that one. Yeah. Which I mean, if we can continue to knock that out, that would be great. Mm -hmm. um, but because we don't want to remove our elder signs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, so now it's my turn to move. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do what? One, two, three. And I'll just stop there because of what we talked about. Okay. Okay. Mm. And you said as long as we share a space, right? Yeah, it says like when they're sharing a space, I don't, I know if that means we're supposed to stop. Like... So I'm just saying as long as we're sharing a space, like, because it's not crazy to think that I could hand something off to you while you're passing me. Like, right, yeah, right. So. Okay, that makes sense. Again, so. if we got this wrong, please point it out to us in the comments. But 
we, this is our first gun around, so this, you think of this as the tutorial stage. We're going to hand you some dynamite, maybe as like an ace in the hole in case you need to get out of All right. something. Sounds good to me. And then, do you think I should test my luck in the general store, or or do you think I should try to take this out? Because I can, I can take this out. I would almost say, like, let's get that closed. Okay. And because that would get rid of that thing. That, yeah, yeah, get rid yeah. of that thing, and then. All right, well, one, that was one, two, three, and four. And now I have to attempt to sneak past him. Yep. So uh, I need the uh, yep. dice. So your stealth is it like the thing's modifier is a plus one to your stuff. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. it's raining, so it's a plus two, so whatever else you're trying to do. Yep. And then I, I think have the idea is that's one. one of those like Lovecraftian monsters that's so big that it doesn't really pay attention to humans. I think right. that's kind of the idea. Which is kind of cool because it's kind of floating above a graveyard, which is right. I mean thematically <laughs> really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yep, so that's three dice. And I got Five, one success. Yeah. Got it. So you go so I... to... <laughs> the City of the Great Race. Yep, right there. There we go. Okay. Um, well, unless you would have hmm. encountered that, but uh, it's fine. Oh, yeah, I would have encountered it. So, yeah, yeah I'm yep. technically still there. Yeah, and then so you encounter your space, which there's nothing for you to encounter, and there's nothing for me to encounter. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, Mythos phase time. Um, I'm nice and safe in here. The man in black. Didn't no. know we were fighting aliens, too, guys. No, no. Jenny Cash. Well, is that uh, the witch's house again? Yep. Oh, my monster gosh. search, which actually isn't that bad. Sure. All right. Hold on, no, hold on, because I think that's going to actually put us at our max. Mm -hmm. We're okay, it'll put us at our max, but not over it, because so, we haven't removed any monsters. But hold on, let's, so the, the, the witch's house happens, so the mon we have one, two, three, four, five. One, seven. two, three, four, five, six. Six, yep. Okay, they're right there for right now. Okay, hold on, and he's actually going to move, so he's going to, well, okay. Um, so hold on, let's see, investigate, okay, so... So, two mon or three more monsters will spawn here. Three? Hold on, one, two, th there's only three gates open, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep, so, yep. It's either number of gates or player count, whichever is higher. All right, so we got well, does Night Gaunt. Yep, they're all just going to spawn, unless you're not a flaming vampire. Zam zombie and Zambi. cultist. Okay, I'm actually really happy the cultist appeared here, because these guys will go back in the bag mm -hmm. once one more monster goes in there, and they'll raise our terror level. Right. So... Okay, <clears throat> so activity at French Hill Streets. Okay, but investigators who end their movement in the French Hill Streets may deal with the man in black to gain power. They roll a dice equal to their current sanity. For every failed die rose, they lose the sanity. If it's reduced to zero, say they are devoured and they must start a new character. Oh no. Otherwise, gain a clue token and draw a spell. Oh, this is an environment, so it's no longer raining cats and dogs. Oh. Just in time. <laughs> so whenever somebody enters the French Hill Street, um, I'm going to just put a marker. French Hill Street. French Hill, French Hill, French Hill. Is it? No, yeah. this, is, this is Riverside, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no it's that one. It's that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the one covered. Well, it's kind of funny because there's a... Uh, is the it? black man, and then there's a man in black now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, so the moon symbols are going to move on the black arrow. So these guys are going to move this up black. here. And he's going to come up here. And then the plus symbols, which I don't think we have any plus symbols here. Nope. No. Okay. So they're all kind of... <sighs> okay, so um, Man. so we could go there, and then you can make a you can make a check for every sanity that you have, and for every success, you get a clue token and a spell. Hmm. If you don't have any successes, you are devoured. I don't know. And you also lose a sanity for every failure you make. So. Uh, anyway, um, so you're going to pass the first player token on to me. Oh, yes, I can. So remember, guys, it's no longer raining cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. 
is now there's a black man in the French Quarter. The man in black, I'm sorry. Um, okay. So I don't think I need to increase my sneak right now. Oh, I'm not yeah. planning on sneaking. I need this all the way down here now. I'm going to up my fight because in a couple of turns I'm going to really start fighting, which affects my will, but... Okay. So you guys done with your upkeep phase? Yep. Yep. I'm good. I'm just... Yep, we're all good now. Okay. So I'm going to go... My movement is... Yeah, I already moved that, so... I'll go one, two, three. I'm going to go... One. And I'll go... One. Okay, so... Uh, we'll do the Archim Encounters first. Um, you can go ahead and move yourself to that area. Which, that's the Abbey. Hmm. Or uh, the, the Abbey, the Abyss. <laughs> I mean, I can't you could read. say, like, the Abbey of, like, Yagoth or something like that. That would make sense. Okay, I'm going to trade my... <laughs> Abbey, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to trade my Gate token to get blessed. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> and you, now we go to the other world encounter space. You're looking for a, a yellow or green card. Uh, all right. Wow. All right. And it's a green. And what am I on? City of the Great Wars. Oh, so it's other. Pass. Oh, I'm so glad I moved my luck over this. <laughs> um, no, I'm making sure it wasn't. Oh yeah, that's all. All right. Pass a minus one luck check to find the gate back. If so, immediately return to Arkham. Oh, nice. Interesting. So that means I have three, but minus one, so two. Got it. Six. All right. So it says immediately. Oh, sorry. Immediately return. That's me right here. To Arkham, which I was here. Yep. Here you go. Oh, thank you. And do I have to wait until my next turn to, to seal it? I believe well, so, yeah. And does he have to pass the sneak? Not or? right now, just when Next when the phase starts back up, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and so, Mythos time, guys. Oh. Well, do I do... I don't do counter for mine, Not yet. Yeah, you just entered the gate okay. this turn. No one can help you now. This is another environmental, oh, so the... Be back here. <laughs> oh, that's no more man in black. Yep. Johnny Cash left, guys. I was nice and safe in the portal. Gates cannot be sealed, although they can be closed. I oh. hate everything. So, <laughs> clues... That, well, we, we're, well, you were going to steal something, weren't you? I was going to steal it. <sighs> okay, well, a clue appears in the woods, which I think is... <sighs> uh, down there. Oh. Okay. Um, then... The... Plus symbols move, which I don't think we have any plus symbols. The moons are, are going to move on the black. Black arrow, yeah. Okay. Oof. Okay, and move this over to you. Upkeep phase. Do mm -hmm. I want to move my fight? One, two. Now, I could go close that gate, which will put us on the track towards winning. All right. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. That's oh, also yeah. Yeah, Thank you. I'm just going to stay here yeah, and so hope that the, next the, one weather, will... the weather goes away. It's a weather thing, right? It's an environmental thing, yeah. yeah. Well, you have to evade that guy every turn, then. Yep, that's okay. fine. Got pretty good sneak. Okay, I think I can kill this guy, especially since I'm blessed. Okay, um, my movement, I'm going to keep my movement. No, I'm going to, one, two, wow. three. Okay, I'm going to reduce my movement by one just because, like, in case I have a stealth check. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, my plan is to move here, because if you can close that gate mm -hmm. uh, in two turns and I can close this gate, then we will have, like, one more gate to close, essentially, because like, whatever the mythos phase brings out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to roll for the... Um, this card. Oh, yeah. We're good. Cool. Okay, I'm really glad I thought so about can, that. Can I close it and then just wait 
Can no. You seal it? No. no. I almost won't worry about sealing it because there's going to be another gate that's going to close, open up. I'm pretty sure. Well, regardless, I'm not going to be able to sneak through those guys. So. Yeah. I should, I'm just going to stop. If you close it, that pulls that monster out. That one? Yeah. But then does it still take these? Even though I'm not sealing it? No. Oh, okay. No, you just have to either pass a combat or a will check. A fighter will check. Mm. Which I could do will. <clears throat> yeah. And your cross gives you plus ugh, how much? It doesn't give me anything unless it's oh. an undead. But oh, okay. it's a portal. You can use dynamite. So, but I, I mean, Did you move? no, we haven't moved yet. I might just move this to will then. Okay. If I'm going to be well, closing oh, the portal. You were over here though, weren't you? Yeah. You can only move it one tick. Oh, you can only move one. Oh. Okay. oh. Well, then I'll oh, just do that. Were you guys not doing that correct? Uh, there was only one time I didn't. Okay, that sorry. Yeah, you can only move it one tick um, based off of your focus, like one tick per point. Uh, your focus. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. then I was okay. Again, guys, yeah. tutorial level, so it's okay. I was good. My We're still on our hard back hill here. Okay, so my plan is to go close that gate. Drew's going to be closing this gate next turn, and so like I'm just saying, like it, we'll have like one more gate spawn in, but if one of us can like quickly get to it, I can. The thing is, do do we do we want to close that gate, or do you guys want me to go clear out those monsters? Like, if we if I clear out the cultists, though, yeah, I'll close the gate. Yeah, we're just worried about gates right now, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're the first player. You're not going to move. So make an evade check. Okay. Uh, I need the dice. So. <clears throat> All right. So I have three. And then I get plus one for my skill, and then I get plus one for him. But I don't get plus one because of the range weapon. Okay, got it. You're good. I'm good. And okay. now... Well, hold on. Uh, that was just your movement. That was just movement. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Drew, are you, you're going to move from here to here. Yep. Okay, my turn. I'm going to go one, two, three... I want to fight that guy before I, uh, and he does, I have to do a horror check, a minus one. For my will, it's two, so I get to roll one dice. Nice. Five, so I'm, I didn't, he didn't hurt me, he didn't, he didn't make me go crazy, now I get to shoot him with my Tommy gun. Um, his combat's minus two. Uh, let's go one, two. I mean, I'm, I'm at 11, so. Oh, he's dead. Well, oh, he's actually, dead. just dead. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, he's dead. So that actually gives me a really good, like, okay. So now he's dead. I encounter the space which sends me to another dimension. So that's kind of like the miscellaneous dimension. All right. I'm kind of worried because when you were here, <laughs> when you went through here... Yeah, I got a bad one. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, oh, well, it's... He gets... Oh, it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have got to that gate until Steven, because Steven goes first. I am sorry, man. Oh, you're... Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Oh, wait. So, for people who don't know, overwhelming means that I would still take a physical... A, a, a hit to my uh, stamina. Uh, those monsters is overwhelming one. Mm. So even if I defeat him in the first turn, I still take a hit. But my character gets to ignore the first hit to stamina each time. Mm -hmm. So he's a really tough old guy. So in other right. words, like, yeah, so I'm able to walk that off no problem. That's why I didn't do that. But just, just to explain to people. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so are you going to try to close the gate? Yeah, I'll try to close it. you going to make a fight or a will? <clears throat> I'll do will. It's four dice. Four. And there's no negative effect oh, yeah, on this it's one. It's plus zero, so yep. Plus zero. One. One, yep. So the gate's closed. We can't seal it now, but it's closed. He is pulled back into the gate. And you do have it's a trophy ready. now. It's not sealed. Unfortunate. Okay. <clears throat> so then, Drew, you're going to encounters. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry, it's Arkham encounters. So then I go here. Now it goes to other world encounters. And that's, that's All right. Perfect. So, Abyss. I Blue need a red. red. Okay, I got a red. Abyss, you are disturbed by unsettling echoes. Pass a sneak with minus one to quiet them or lose two sanity. Oh, oh that's not too terrible. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Like... All right, so my sneak is at three. 
And so that means I get to roll a one with the minus two. So let's see. Two. Ooh. Okay. Lose one. Lose two sanity. Ooh. Again, not the end of the world, at least. No. Here, we're going to do this real fast. Oh, no. Oh, Drew, it's a good thing you did that. So we're back to six. Oh, is it per dice? Yeah. Sneak eye. Okay, man. This place stink. I should have used the lucky dice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Time for the Mythos cards, and you want to be a first player? Wait, it was, it was me. Oh, it was? Yeah, yeah you already so, moved it yeah, over. Yeah, I moved it over to Drew. Oh, another environment. Oh, thank you. Right after my... Really. Okay, so the Witch's House, which is a monster surge. Again? Uh, That's actually not bad, though. Hold on, let me, um, let me just to make sure I get the rolls right, because the outskirts will be overcrowded. Mm -hmm. But let's just, uh, one monster will definitely spawn there, but it's actually, yeah, you're right. As far as, like, what we're at right now, this is actually probably the best case scenario. Yeah, because we're in the middle of, we're gonna get all three closed. Well, I just entered, so it, it's, it's going to take me one more turn. Well, yeah, one more turn, but yeah. if we get um, lucky next turn, I guess. Here's um, our first monster. God of the Bloody Tongue. Okay, yep. So the Terrell. So actually, not the worst. Okay, so the one, the, the tongue thing, the tongue, whatever it's called, is going to go there. It's a triangle. And then these guys all return to the cup because mm -hmm. that would have hit our five. Um, let's see. Wait, we have only, there's only five on the field right now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so draw, draw one more then. Okay. Let's see, we got Hound of Tendalos. It's yellow, or it's green, so it's, has special movements. And he's going to go to a different gate, so he'll come out this gate. Oh, that's um, the one I'm coming out of. Uh oh. Which, which is fine, because then you can send him physical immunity. <laughs> when this, when it moves the Hound of Ten, ten yeah. And Dallas moves directly to the nearest investigator and set a location in Arkham other than the hospital or asylum. Mm. So he actually chases people down and like attacks them mm. wherever he moves. So mm. that's good. I'm coming out of there and shutting the gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just to make sure if we get five. Okay, so the terror marker moves because Arkham's getting overran with monsters. The escorts are not happy with us. I think it's pretty cool looking. That is, yeah. Okay, um, and then on that card... Uh, planetary alignment environment thanks to mythic energy generated by the planetary alignment all spells have a sanity cost of zero I can nice kill people okay the squares move we got one so he's gonna move there to attack you oh I thought he just moves the nearest investigator oh straight to me oh that sucks yep. I'm dead the diamonds move uh, I don't think we have any diamonds on the board. Mm. And the circles move, which I don't see any circles. Oh, either. no. Is that diamond? No, it's a, that's like a... That's a gate. Oh. It's a square. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you can make an evade test on him. Or you can try to kill him. I don't know where I'm going to go if I evade him. Well, you, yeah, maybe you should just <laughs> blow him up with dynamite. Yeah. Okay. So, you have to... Ooh. I, that'll make me go insane if I fail that. Yeah, you'd go to Arkham. And it's lore, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's bad luck. Make an evade check. Oh, I do have one plus one to horror checks. Oh, you do? Okay. So but that'll be zero. That'll be zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I don't need these anymore. I could use these, right? Well, you might want to save them for something, but it's... Uh, I would just Do, do I lose my trophy? No. Okay. Yeah, I'll just make an evade then, I guess. Uh, sneak. What's his? Oh, minus one. Oh, I could probably sneak it. Uh, neat dice. Oh. That was unlucky. Yeah. Uh, so I have three plus one, but minus one. I think that's all the bonuses I get, right? Got it. All, all three. Nice. So you're just kind of hanging out right now, like, I'm just going to hide from him for a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we are now at the upkeep phase. All right. Um, so to time. seal, uh, to shut, close a gate, it's a will check? A fight check or a will check. You choose. 
And you're going to be coming out of this one, so it's going to be negative two. All right, and so combat checks don't go on. No, under combat that. checks work on that, yeah. Okay, I will probably do combat. Yeah. So um, I'll move that up one. I'm going to go ahead and drop my fight and will just to try to... Man, if I have to do a lore check, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm good with uh, everything else. Yeah, I'm going to move this up one. Okay. Okay. So we go to the movement phase. So you're the first player. You're going to come out over here. Yep. Oh, he has physical immunity as well. I'm going to go over there. Oof. So you die that one if works. Nope. And then now we are at the Arkham encounter phases. You're, if you're going to, well, you're going to evade him again if you're going to uh, fight him. Actually, yeah, I'm going to have to unless I go out and kill the vampire and the cultist. For the cultist, we don't want to kill. Right. So, yeah, I'll have you to You could that. go out there and evade them. I could. You have to evade each one. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, a lot. Which, but, and, and even if I do move, Ooh, if, I if, wish if, you had if, if he moves, he'll just move on to there with me. Well, yeah. Or wherever I am. Yeah, because Drew is still free. He goes to the nearest one. Yeah. Unless I... No, my speed's on too, so... I might as well just stick with him. Yeah, with the uh, <laughs> one perception, it's probably worth it to do that negative one. And what's yeah. that saying? Between a rock and a hard place? Not Which I like, by the way. This, I like the stealth mechanics in this game, actually. Mm -hmm. This is still not as bad as the ghost. <laughs> yeah, this is really funny. <laughs> During our practice round, a ghost had drew cornered at the uh, St. Mary's Hospital. The ghost was in Uptown, and it wasn't moving. It was just sitting there. <laughs> you couldn't do anything to get out. Like, yeah. This game does not pull punches. this. No. There's no. You're good. Got it. Okay, so you get to encounter uh, that space, so draw a purple card. Uh, you the graveyard. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm dead. Oh. Uh, pass a luck. I just changed my luck, too. That's awesome. Uh, to find a valuable clue within your tombstone rubbings. Uh, gain two clue tokens, and you may move to any location or street area in Arkham. Ooh. If you move to a location, immediately have an encounter there. Oh, Ooh. so you found a secret passage like in the grave. I'm site, definitely so. going to use clues. <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. Um, okay. It's a luck. Is it just a straight up luck checker? Just, it says luck um, minus two, so my luck's two, so I would be at zero. So I'd have to use one of these mm -hmm. if I wanted to do that. So I'll uh, spend That's one. That's pretty convenient to get you out of that situation. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. going to put you in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> if I can roll this. Hold on. Might be speaking too soon. I don't know if I'm... Got it. Just on my blessing. Yep, yep. All right. And and I get this back, and I get one more. Nice. Because it gives me two okay. clues. And I can move. To, it says move to any location. any location or street. So, yeah, I can move to literally any location. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, well, that would be a good place to go, though, because, like... Um, do you, are, do you have any way of sealing that gate? No, I do not. Um, I don't, I don't think he has any way to seal it. You want to reshuffle that purple card? Oh, you, you have to encounter, where, wherever you go, you have to make an encounter. Encounter as well, yeah. You have three bucks, you can't, you don't have any monster corpses. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could do the thing where I was going to give him blessing, but do we want to use that right now? Because if we take care of those gates, we'd be at three. Yeah, I wouldn't do that right now, just uh -huh. on the off chance, because if we go one more turn without spotting a gate, I should be good, as long as honestly, this doesn't kill me. Honestly, this could give us something good, because we got it last time, So I, or I could go here and see and collect that, and then also get, that, and get that an And that would item. put you kind of a, on a different side of the map if yeah. anything happens, because like, there's hordes of monsters. Yeah, and that puts me close enough to where I can I could go over there and clear that if I really wanted to, if we can get these Yeah, I, so I would say going to the unnameable is fine. Yeah, I'll do that. And draw a clue. Take that. And then I need... So, and, and I do agree. Yeah, yeah, we can counter that space, too. All right, come on, something good. Oh, uh, good, another luck check. Um, unnameable. Pass a luck minus one check to find a hidden cache concealed in the wall of an upstairs bedroom. Draw one unique item. Ooh. So I am going to need the dice again. Oh. <laughs> yep. And it's just minus one, so I have one dice I can use. And you still have all those clue tokens. There's so many <laughs> Got it. Yes. Blessings. So one unique item. Yep. Oh, <gasps> another sign. But we can't. Oh, we can steal them. Okay, but 
Oh, but mm. we... Okay, well, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Okay, now, Drew, you get to encounter your space with the gate on it. All right, so... Make I a do... combat <coughs> check. Oh. Do I do... All right. Do that, and let me put that back in here mm -hmm. real quick. Okay, so combat, so I get... And that's a minus two. Minus two? Because of the gate, yeah, the gate has a minus two on it. Okay, so it's I a rock get eight. one mm -hmm. plus one, two, three, four. So, all right. you're, you're choosing not to use the curse Arkham dice, so that's <laughs> smart. Oh, I'm using two of them. Oh, no, no. Well, you just need one success, so... Nice. That was a one. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> okay, so the gate's closed. So you pull that. No way to seal it. Stephen, how many clue tokens do you have? <laughs> oh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You could completely clear this off next year if you want. He has to go. I have to get through those guys. Yeah. Well, we'll see. They're, they move, so hopefully. That's true. Well, if the thing is, the problem is, like, these guys are, like, they're... Well, hopefully we get lucky answer. and we get, like, a seventh uh, witch house in a row and a no gate opens up and you just close it next turn. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, now it's my turn. Can I have a gate card? Yeah. Now, do I do an encounter there? I don't think so. Oh, we forgot to put the explored marker on your thing, but that's fine. No, yeah. During the next Arkham Encounter phase. So, no, that would be your Arkham Encounter phase okay. right there. But, yeah. That sounds good to me. Okay. So. Okay. Um, so now you have to explore, right? Yes. Uh, and I have this gate card. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. You sleep fitfully. And oh, this is another, by the way, because, yeah, not in the abyss or the dreamlands. Hmm. Uh, fitfully and awaken to the sound of your own voice chanting something. Make a luck minus two check. If you pass, you are able to retain... Oh, drawing one spell, gain two clue tokens. If you fail, the chant attracts something unsavory, a monster appears. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got I one die. You're blessed. I am blessed, and I don't have any clue tokens, though. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh no. One off. All right, so random monster. Don't pick the ghost. Uh, I got holy weapons. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. So. Oh, that's nice for you. <laughs> okay, so you get a... Like, hey, he. <laughs> Flying monster. So negative two. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty easy, actually. Nice. Okay, good. The shrieking and flat... It shrieks and it flaps its wings. I fought of the... Uh, the I fought of the empty shell of a beetle and the soft loom of rotting earth. It cooked, it carpaced head at me. It, it crooked its carpaced head at me. Black teeth clicking against each other. Again, I'm willing to bet that's actually from a Lovecraft book. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna fight up here. Final Fantasy music. So, mm -hmm. first of all, I have to make a horror check. That is a minus one, and my will is at three, so I roll two dice, or I lose a sanity. Oh, oh, snake, snake eyes. eyes. I'm Jeez. Going to so I do lose the sanity. That's fine. That's not the end of the world. Now I get to make a combat check against him. Using my Thompson. Trusty Thompson. And my combat is 4 plus 6. So it's 10. He's dead. I think he's dead. Yeah. No, I'm going to set this to the side because if it comes up, I'll look it up in the rules. I can't remember if I claim him as a trophy or if he just goes back. But mm. I survived that. Um, okay, so now I take... The, okay, we do the Mythos phase. Okay. Independent Square. Yes! Oh, that's good. Dude, we kept getting Independent Square this game. Right. Mm -hmm. That and Lich's uh, yeah. house. I shuffled them. <laughs> All Cthulians into holes in Arkham are returned to the cup. If at least one monster returns to the cup, raise a terror by one. I think there's a de hole on the board, isn't there? Mm, no? I no, think, I think I killed it. He was here. Uh, yes. Yeah, when we, we closed the portal. Okay, so we're good. Okay. Uh, so Independent Square, which is that. That's great. Okay. Hexagons, slashes, triangles, and stars all move. 
the square doesn't move though. Oh, perfect. So if he moves, um, no one else moves. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This guy is a square. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's a square. Okay. He's a square. Right. Man, I was gonna kill that guy. <laughs> Might not have to. Yeah. Okay. Um. So nothing really happened that turn. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. So I will take this player. All right. Okay. Um. So upkeep phase. Yep. I'm going to push my fight up one more tick because I'm going to be fighting the gate when okay. I come back. I realize I really can't move. Well, I can attack. Well, mm. look, here's the thing. We're going to win this turn. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to close the game. We're going to win as long as, well, I won't say that because you could just roll once, but. And I don't have a clue token. You're right. Oh, but I forgot to do the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot that. Yeah. Not using, no, those dice give me snake eyes. <laughs> One, so we do get one clue token, which I think are seven, so... Two, yeah. three. Yep. Okay. So, we are at the upkeep phase. Are you guys doing any adjustments for upkeep? Um, um, no. No. Okay. We are at the movement phase. You guys gonna do any movement? <laughs> no. I'll just go here, you know. Yeah, just chill. Just hang out. Okay. We are in the Arkham Encounter phase. I am going to use my Thompson to close this gate. It is a plus zero. My fight is four, so I get ten dice. I guess I could have, like, ran down to you, but it doesn't matter. Boom. Nice. Gate's closed. That would have been so funny if, like, that was the one time you rolled, like, all ones. Well, I would have had one more reroll because it's nine dice and I have ten. Oh, okay. But, yeah, then that would have been really dramatic at ten. <laughs> I mean, it would have been, but we... Okay. So... To explain the victory condition that we met here, um, there's three victory conditions. Uh, the one that we achieved here is closing all the gates and then having gate trophies equal to the number of players. We have three gate trophies. Mm -hmm. it, now, not every player has to have a gate trophy. We just have, to have gate trophies equal to the number of players. And the other way is to get six. Is it six Elder Signs? I think it was seven. Seven. I think, yeah. For it, this amount of players. And then also, like, if the Elder One comes back and there's one or two you can't fight, but some of them you can, you can essentially send them back to sleep. Uh, that would have been bad. We don't want to do that. So thankfully, we were able to keep him from coming back. Uh, that was just super lucky with like the the gates. Yeah. Gates. Oh, we, we just kept getting the ones that we already got. Yeah. Crazy. So, guys, Arkhamore, what do you guys think? Second edition specifically. <laughs> okay. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah, very much. Once you get the rules down, it's, yeah. <laughs> so it's I think good. that's some of the weaknesses of the game. It does feel overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But if it, once you take time to actually figure out what you're doing, the game makes sense. Like the game flows well. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there's a common complaint that the rule book needed some more editing, and I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, like the index will take you to pages that don't that are not correct. Simply not correct. Uh, this this game has been out for a long time. Um, I've never played third edition. I think first edition is similar to this, but third edition is kind of a departure. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about third edition because I haven't played it. Um, this game has been in my collection for over a decade, <laughs> and this is the first time really playing through a full game. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I like. I immediately want to try new monsters, try new like ancient mm -hmm. ones. Right. Um, if if I had, um, I'd love to get this back to the table some more. And I, I, the expansions weren't so expensive. I'd love to get some expansions. So yeah, the. Uh, the drawing the monsters, um, and there being relatively easy monsters to really, really tough monsters, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, um, again, it kind of made probably frustrating for you when we were practicing having the ghost spawn <laughs> right here with you being right there, and yep. no good way to get around it. Yeah. Yeah, of course it goes up. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I think that actually really makes the game better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, like, it makes it a little scarier to deal with. I don't know. Um what do you think? What do you guys think about the encounter cards? Like the way you shuffle them every time you use them. I I think that's a good idea. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of think it adds to the, like, the uneasiness that you need to feel whenever like it's like I just did this. Like when you're fighting Lovecraft, like a right. Lovecraftian monster. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of need to feel like you're losing sanity. So yeah, you might have just talked to the stranger at the 
you know, the graveyard, but then you do it again, or you, you know, you're, you're at the graveyard and now you're on the other side of town. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> do you guys have yeah. any other thoughts or anything? Uh, well, no, I, I enjoyed the game. Um, I wouldn't mind playing it again. Uh, I feel like, you know, this took a little bit longer today because, you know, it's our first time playing it, so we yeah, had to learn the like rules a lot. We got yeah. the, once we got the rules, it was kind of like downhill. I mean, yeah. You know, we were pushing the boulder uphill trying to figure out how to play, but once right. we kind of got a rhythm going, it was... And I'm sure there was, like, probably one or two rules that we, we, <laughs> we missed or something like that. Oh, for sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll get told that in the comments, probably. Oh, but, yeah. And I appreciate uh, that, actually, because it helps me learn to play the game correctly, so... Right, mm -hmm. right. But, uh, yeah, once we got the rules down, it was pretty much, you know, it was pretty pretty smooth. Yeah, we yeah. beat the easiest boss, guys. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that was fine. Um, sorry, I guess I just, like, I, I really I really do like the idea of going into gates and, like, how you go to a different world. Mm -hmm. Like, the way that plays separately, that's just, it plays differently from Arkham. I don't know, it's really cool. I mean, right. Or, like, when, if a gate opens on top of you, it's just like, oh, you can't just cross through there. You're kind of distorted. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the devouring too, the monsters that can devour you. Oh yeah. One's luck based. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that it, was crazy. So this game nails the theme. This game also has naturally funny stories that happen, like naturally good like this when you play it, there's a narrative going on. And mm -hmm. the mechanics reinforce that narrative really well. Yeah. Um I'm really looking I think this game's gonna get back to the table before the next decade. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess if that's the closing thoughts, then, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take the initiative and roll out. See you.